up on size highs on the sky. Pushed out of central Iowa, but I'll tell you if we have some more chances coming up. X Sharp is in the studio to take a look at your national forecast, see how far south that cold weather has made it. It is Monday, November 11th. This cold and snowy edition of Size Eyes on the Sky starts now. Hey, on ISU TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa, this is Size Eyes on the Sky. ISU TV's longest running television show brings you the weather around the country in Iowa, Ames, and beyond. The Iowa State Meteorology Department's team of forecasters keeps you ahead of the next weather system. Size Eyes on the Skies starts now. And good evening and welcome back. I am joined here by Mr. Zach Sharp. How's it going? Oh, besides being a little cold dethon after get walking into the studio tonight, it's it's going well. The studio is nice and warm and outside our studio, it, it's sort it's, of cold out there. It is. And what a difference from the morning classes mm -hmm. to the evening classes. I know I just got a class at 530 and from the 8 a.m. to 530, it was about 15 degrees colder. Right. And that cold front moved through, we don't want to spoil Corey Hargis thunder, no. but it did move through, brought snow showers to the upper Midwest. It's continuing its track further south, and I'll have a more detailed outlook at how far south it's going to go. And it's going to be pretty impressive how far south it makes it. Otherwise, yeah, much of the nation is going to see much of that deep freeze. And I'll let you know where we can see that deep freeze coming up in a little bit. That sounds good. We'll take a look at the quick Iowa glance here with uh, Corey. And I brought a light with me, kind of, here, so yes. I apologize if that's in the <laughs> shot, Sean. <laughs> I got hooked on it here. So an interesting day, a cloudy, cool start turned into a snowy, cold day. Yes. Um, I know, as far as I'm concerned, the snow kind of took me a little bit by surprise. Because I'm a great meteorologist. I look at stuff over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Not at all. But um, when I last looked, we were looking into tomorrow for the snow, but that chance was moved into today right. so as we'll see it's actually going to be clear and we'll start out by taking one more look at the satellite and radar there it is we will see that the snow has moved well into southeastern iowa and we did not want to see nathan coy there but there we go but so we just have the cloud covers uh, just hanging over pretty much the entire state of Iowa and it's going to stay that way at least until we get into the overnight hours. We'll go ahead and take a look at the local temperatures across central Iowa right now. Very, very chilly and in fact this is going to be the warmest we're going to see down in the southern portion of the state. We'll move on north and there we go getting down to 19 degrees already in Fort Dodge, 24 in Perry and 23 in Iowa Falls. As far as your day planner goes for tomorrow, waking up at 7 a.m., 14 degrees, so it's going to be a very crisp start, and 30 degrees by the time we hit about 2 o'clock, and by 9 o'clock tomorrow night, we'll have the clear skies still stick around, and 18 degrees for your temperature, so it's going to be another cool day tomorrow, but it doesn't look like we have the snow in the forecast of all that coming up in just a little bit. Nathan, back to you. Thanks a lot, Corey. We're going to send to our first commercial break, but your national forecast, it will be coming up in just a minute or two. Your backside. Do you have a tail? Get your microphone's taking it off. like, tell And welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. I'm Zach Sharp with your national forecast. Starting out there this evening, it's quite chilly across the upper Midwest. 22 in Minneapolis, 45 out in St. Louis. They're ahead of that cold front, so here in a couple hours, so they'll start to see these cooler temperatures. Very nice warm 70 degrees down in Dallas, so it'd be a very nice evening out there tonight to see those 70 degree temperatures and a warmer 89 degrees out there in Phoenix, Arizona. Zooming into these cooler temperatures right now, 26 in the city of Des Moines, 34 in Kansas City as that cold front just moved through within the last hour. Like I said, 22 in Minneapolis, a cooler 15 in Pierre. So it could be a lot worse and it will get a lot worse throughout the overnight hours. Those current winds out there this evening, 18 degrees in the city of Des Moines, 24 in Kansas City, 14 in Minneapolis, 
those winds are really gusting out there and when you factor those in there is a quite a bite in the air five degrees in sioux falls nine degrees in minneapolis we're talking the single digits here so there is some very high arctic air moving into the upper midwest and it will continue to push down to the south later on i'll have the full forecast here in a sec so there's the highest today we started off 39 in minneapolis 60, 76 down in dallas a very nice warm 90 degrees out in phoenix arizona and most of the country is quiet however if we notice down here in the south there are some freeze warnings and that is because that cold front will continue to push down to the south and make it all the way down here and then they're looking at some possible deep freezes tonight due to that cold front moving through so there is that cold front right now it is you can see basically it lines up and it is a very large cold front and then the sinking air behind it bringing in some very arctic air behind it causing those very cold temperatures behind it and very warm temperatures out in front and on the back side, you see it has snow behind the front. And out in front, there's rain. So we have a rain snow line. It all was all snow here today due to all the cool temperatures that were out ahead of the front. And if we go ahead and put future cast into motion, we see that cold front will continue to slide down to the south. And it will make it pretty far down to the south. And that is why all those freeze watches and warnings are out down there. And our next weather maker will be off the coast. And it will continue to slide in. And we will see this possibly into the weekend and the early next week. And we'll keep an eye on that for now as there are some factors to work out with that one. However, highs tomorrow, 41 in St. Louis, 48 in Dallas. You can see that cold front has very draped down pretty far down to the south, 49 in Atlanta. Even them, they'll see some cooler temperatures due to that cold front. However, on the backside, we'll see some warmer temperatures and a high pressure will start to move in and then that will kick those warmer temperatures up to us later on in the week. Corey Hargath will have much more here in a little bit. Grand Forks, North Dakota, North, I can't speak, North Dakota tonight. And it's beca all because of this goose egg for tonight. Zero degrees below. Now, when you factor in wind chills, it's going to be a lot colder out there tonight. 42 rebound the high on Wednesday. Thursday, next chance of precipitation as a small short wave moves through a high of 39. Otherwise, we start to warm it up to 40 and back to 32 by Tuesday. That's all I have. Nate, back to you at the desk. Thanks, Zach. The big goose egg. We haven't seen that for quite some time on the forecast, but we're going to take a look at your trivia question for tonight, which has to do with snow. On this date in 1940, the great Armistice Day blizzard killed 49 people in Minnesota. How low did the pressure drop in Duluth? Your choices are A, 1,000 millibars, B, 976 millibars, C, 955, or D, 942. We'll have the answer to that trivia question plus a look at your Iowa forecast in just a minute. And welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. Let's take another look at that trivia question. On this day in 1940, the great Armistice Day blizzard killed 49 people in the state of Minnesota. How long did the pressure drop in Duluth? Your answer is maybe. C, 955 millibars. That is quite the strong low pressure system. If we had something move through like that this time of year, I bet we'd have pretty similar scenario, hopefully not as many deaths, but probably some pretty strong winds and snow. But with that, we'll see if there's any more snow and cold temperatures in our forecast with Corey at the wall. Hey, thanks, Nathan. First of all, I can tell you it, if, we do any, if we do see any more snow, it's not going to be anything quite like that and we're not going to see that pressure drop nearly that much we'll start out by looking at our highs today and most of us were asleep when we hit these highs 44 in waterloo 43 mason city 39 and 4 dodge and 46 in council bluffs those occurring very early on today look at what's ahead we got another cold day ahead as we'll see coming up in just a little bit we do warm back up into the 40s for at least a couple of days later on this week with some rain chances moving in by Thursday and again by the very end of the weekend. We'll look at current conditions right now across the state. We can see where we're starting to clear off the skies, 19 and 4 Dodge, 24 in Sioux City, and 16 right now in Mason City moving down slightly to south. It's 27 in Ottumwa and 26 degrees still with those clouds hanging out in Des Moines. The winds have been out of the north-northwest all day long, which comes along with that cold front that pushed its way through, bringing in all this cold air. Currently 9 miles per hour in Mason City, 8 in Fort Dodge, 16 mile an hour winds in Sioux City, and 12 miles per hour in Council Bluffs. Here's another look at the clouds and radar that we saw a little bit ago. The snow, as I said, has moved off into southeastern Iowa, but the clouds are still sticking around, and they will do that at least through 
the at least the early half of tonight before we really start to clear things out. As far as future cast goes, so the front there is well off to our south and east, taking most of the uh, the rain and snow with it. And high pressure is going to push its way in our direction, really going to clear us out over the next couple of days. And it's actually going to help warm us up as well, ever so slightly, as we move into Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Overnight tonight, very chilly, 14 degrees with overnight clearing and wind staying out of the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Warm up to about 30 degrees for your Tuesday with plenty of sun but still staying chilly with winds out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your seven-day forecast, there's that slight warm-up that I talked about for Wednesday, 43 degrees. Thursday, 44. We do have a slight chance of seeing a couple of pop-up rain showers or so on Thursday, but we do stay in the middle to upper 40s for Friday. By Saturday, 51 degrees, getting back up into the middle 50s as we move into the end of the weekend, Monday, 56 degrees, but as of right now, um, there is a little toss-up between a couple of the computer models of what's actually going to happen on Monday. Mm -hmm. One model is going with what we have there in the forecast, but the other one could get things being a little bit interesting, and we'll keep an eye on that and obviously keep you up to date as the week goes on. Right. I know many of us tend to look at those long-range models. You kind of got to take them with a grain of salt mm -hmm. that far out. But when you have a couple of them in green, yep. eventually, like they did with this system. Yeah, we've had a couple of runs now looking into Monday that are starting to shell this off of the, um, the European, European model. European model, right. I saw, especially as in the heading towards the Tuesday time frame, mm -hmm. it looks like temperatures could plummet like Zach just did. Uh. That was perfect right there. It did it work out pretty well. The perfect moment to do that. It and, did. and my time matches for tonight's occasion for Veterans Day. Veterans Day. Red, white, Day. Blue. You know, I, I always have You're to just pick. full of it tonight, well, aren't you? I have to pick a tie. My right. tie always matches an occasion, just like the last time we had a chance of snow. I wore snow tie. Snowflakes. Okay. Every broadcast meteorologist comes prepared with their tie, okay? Let's just be honest. And Next week, Corey Thanksgiving Hargan. ties are going to have to come out. I don't, I don't I, think I own one of those. No, Me neither. No, I, I, it could be a turkey, maybe. But yeah, no, we're watching that system, and mm -hmm. right. it looks like maybe leading in the going home, it could be very nippy. It looks what like a surprise. It's right around Thanksgiving time, yeah. <laughs> especially where you head. You know, for those folks that have to head north yeah. in the parts of Minnesota, like you do, Wisconsin, like I do, you are from around this area. But if you're going north, you're probably going to be pretty chilly going and home. And we should be used week. to it by now. Should be, but. You know, some people aren't. And Maybe that's yeah. just I, the way well, it is. Well, let's hope for a big blizzard right before we go home. How about that? And then, then we can have a white Thanksgiving, and that way if we don't have a white Christmas, it makes up for it. One as long as it's not a Friday and we don't have to drive through it? Well, yeah, that, yeah, that, that is true, because I don't want to drive home. And well, I'm getting kind of probably screamed at right now by the producer <laughs> in the back room to wrap things up here. So thanks for joining us tonight. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Check out the YouTube page, as all of our shows will be posted on there eventually. So for Zach, myself, Nate, and Corey, have a great night.